<laughs> well, look who's on the cover. Again with her. So, Margot Lang's mole is fake. Who cares? Huh? Who's gonna hear, Liz Smith? <laughs> Meanwhile, I had six moles taken off my back. You didn't care. You didn't even send a card. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here? There's a draft. No, not at all. Meanwhile, you smell delicious. What have you got on? Thank you. It's called gossip. Take mine. That's very nice of you. Thanks. Don't get too chummy. You're in a doctor's office. You never know what somebody's got. <laughs> So tell me, what do you do, a gorgeous gal like you? Act, model, what? I'm just a housewife. <laughs> Sylvia, Dr. Hirsch is ready for you. Oh, hi, oh, hi, 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 Sylvia. Oh, hi, Fran. How are you yeah. doing OK? It's nice to see you. <laughs> Who is that young lady? She looks so familiar to me. You know Maxwell Sheffield, the Broadway producer? Yeah. That's his nanny. Can you believe? Five years she's working for him, still hasn't proposed. Ah, cancel my appointment. <laughs> it's Cindy. Scrap my segment. I'm reshooting, and I want it on tonight. Oh, you better speak! <laughs> well, the thing is, Ma absolutely has to lose weight, so we can't keep food in the house anymore. Help me scoff back some of this Godiva. Friend, you can't control what your mother eats. She doesn't live here. When did she move out? <laughs> mm. I'm so glad that I don't have a weight problem. I can eat anything I want. Pizza, ice cream. You know me too. Candy, cake. <laughs> Must be in our genes. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, when Ma was your ages, she was thinner than both of you. <laughs> Maxwell! Maxwell! The Gossip Channel is going to plug our Marie Antoinette musical. Oh, my God. Now, Margot is still willing to do it, despite the incident. <laughs> we just have to keep her real happy. In Los Angeles, Rob McCormick. And in New York, Cindy Adams. Who is that? Hmm? The Cindy Adams, Cindy they're calling us. Cindy Adams from New York. Oh, and no. uh, <laughs> Big news from the Great White Way involving the latest from Too Handsome for Words producer, Maxwell Sheffield. She's the only colonist I respect. <laughs> Starring in his next outing is none other than the queen of the beauty marks, Margot Lang. Oh, oh now I know where I know her from. <laughs> Well, kiddies, I've got a little outing of my own to do. The mole is fake. <laughs> and this comes straight from Maxwell Sheffield's nanny. Miss Fine! <laughs> Freeze! Do you, do you hate me? Is that what it is? I, I, are you trying to get back at me for backpedaling in our relationship? Is, is that what this is all about? No, no, no. This is a personality disorder. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, when you watch your mother frying up your Mr. Potato Head, it scars you. You know, you're, you're my kryptonite. That's what you are. You're the only thing that can hurt me. Not the critics, not the actors' union, not the bloody IRS. Kryptonite. And the stuff that could hurt Superman. Who the hell cares? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Sheffield. I was just telling Ma in confidence. I mean, who knew that Cindy Adams was the one that would give me this perfume? Gossip by Cindy Adams. <laughs> Miss Fine, you remember our conversation about trust? Yeah, why? Well, you realized. You and I cannot have a relationship if I can't trust you. Ah, oh, duh. Now it seems fairly obvious. I can't. <laughs> <laughs>